A composite figure is made up of two or more shapes. To find the area, decompose the figure into shapes with areas that you know, and then add. For our first shape, we have a rectangle and a triangle. It is important that you know the formulas for each of these. For a rectangle, we do length times width. The length is 9 and the width is 7. So the area of our rectangle is 63 square meters. The formula for a triangle is area equals 1 half base times height. 1 half the base is 9 and the height is 6. Knowing that we get the base from this line up top. So then we simply multiply 9 times 6, which is 54, and we take half of that, which is going to give us 28 square meters. We then take our two areas of our shapes and add them together. 63 plus 28 is going to give me 91 meters squared total for our area of that composite figure. For our next shape, we have a semicircle and a rectangle. So again, the rectangle is going to be area equals length times width, where our length is 4 and our width is 2. So the area of the rectangle is 8 square yards. All right, the formula of a circle is area equals pi r squared. But since we have a semicircle, we have to divide that by 2. So, pi is always 3.14. Our radius, remember, radius only goes halfway through the circle, which means our radius is 2 because it's half of 4. And then we want to square that number. At the end, we will divide by 2. So, 2 squared is 4. Next, I want to multiply 3.14 times 4, which gives me 12.56. And finally, I want to divide that by 2 to get a final answer for our semicircle as 6.28 square yards. Again, we have to add those two numbers together. So I'm going to take 6.28 plus 8 and that will give me 14.28 square yards for our entire composite figure. Lastly, we have a square and a semicircle. So we have two semicircles. If I look at these semicircles and took away the square in the middle, it would make a full circle. So we don't need to divide by 2 on this one. So first, with our square, area equals length times width, which would be 10 times 10 to give me 100 millimeters squared. Then I need to do the circle. Again, we have two semicircles that are the exact same, so we just need to do this once, and we don't need to divide by 2. So 3.14. Again, the radius is only half of that distance, so that's going to be 5 squared for our radius. Then we do 5 squared, which is 25, and then 3.14 times 25 would give me 78.5 millimeters squared. And finally, we add those together, to get a total answer of 178.5 millimeters squared for our total area. To review, it's important that you know that a composite figure is made up of two or more shapes. To find that area, you decompose the figure into shapes with areas that you already know and then add. It's important that you know the formula for each of the shapes before beginning.